In this video we're going to be looking over this Canon AE-1 35mm SLR camera equipped with the 50mm f1.8 lens and a 52mm um, screw-in UV filter and lens cap and this case. The case is a little bit rough but it's present. So let's start in looking at the camera first though and we are going to just install a battery here. This is only for test purposes. But the first thing to look at on an AE-1 is the condition of the battery door. And this one is actually very nice. If we can see here, I can flip that open and it's not broken or chipped. A lot of these are damaged and this one springs open properly. So we'll put the battery in and see that the door snaps shut properly. That's a big good start for this camera. Now what I'm going to do is start going down through the shutter speeds from highest to lowest or, or uh, we're starting at 1 1,000th and we can hear it made a little bit of that squeal sound. So it basically works but it's got that sound. Here's 1 500th, 1 250th, 1 one twenty fifth, one five, one sixtieth, one thirtieth, one fifteenth, one eighth, one fourth, one half, one full second, two full seconds. and the bulb setting which allows the uh, shutter to stay open and the lens stop down as long as I hold the button. Okay, let's run this back up to a higher one and test the self timer. To do that we flip this lever forward and then push here and now if we look right here we see the little red light blinking and so we'll wait for it to complete the cycle. And it did. So that's good. Let's uh, take the lens off and just look at that a little bit here. Very nice smooth focus. And the uh, aperture ring. Oh, nice clicks at all the stops. And this one does have the locking A, which we can lock that in at the low end. There. The A is pointed there and now it cannot be rotated off of that without uh, pressing this button again. The uh, aperture blades were quick and snappy. We could see that when we had it on. And to lock this back on we simply rotate that and note that the lens does lock in place. The little button pops out like it's supposed to. Sometimes those don't. We can run that test of the uh, aperture blades again here with the stop down preview button. We can see that the blades are very quick. If we look around the back of the camera here we can see it's got a still a soft and pliable eye cup. These are often, well most cameras don't even have them on. They are easily removed and they're often cracked and in rough shape but this one's very nice. If we open up the back of the camera we'll pull the rubber up out of the way and pull up on the film crank which the crank by the way is in good condition. If we look here on the back we can see the focal plane shutter and then we can watch the film advance I'm going to run that shutter speed down a bit here so you can see that a little better. Open and close. And the film transport looks good. If we move over here to the back, we can, I feel a little bit of sticky residue here on the door edges. So, yeah, that definitely should, uh, should have those light seals replaced at some point pretty soon, I would guess. It might still take pictures as is, but I would want the, that sticky stuff replaced. The door closes properly and if we look in the top 
serial number 4789843 and everything looks pretty good up here the, uh, the ASA can be set easily over here this one I should do that so it shows you can see that and on the bottom a little bit of scratching around the uh, the uh, tripod socket, but not bad. The little cover over the uh, motor drive um, parts here is, is present. Sometimes those are missing. And if we look, let's let's collapse this rubber eye piece down and bring up the case here. Now this case is an original Canon case and unfortunately these did not withstand the test of time well. This is actually much better than a lot of these are today. Most of them really just have to go in the garbage. This one is still serviceable. It's entirely up to you if you want to use it after you get this camera. But you can see we can strap it. You can hook these little straps around the strap lugs and then it just Move the filter back in the front. I need to take the battery back out because that's not included. <laughs> I got that flipped in there, kind of funny. There we go. Door closes properly. Snap on Canon cap goes on. Camera folds inside here. And Snap those snaps on the back. And bring that up. That's supposed to hook over like that. There. Now snap it, and we can see it's a little, little bit rough. A lot of material missing on the edges, but it is an original Canon case, and it is there.